Alright guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video. And so I'm here on Promethea at Skywell 27, as you guys can see here. And so I spawned right here at the shuttle, and basically what we have to do is make our way through here, go here, hit the elevator somewhere in this area, that way we can go down. Go right here where the nearest save station is, make our way here, and then go right over here where Handsome Jackie is. And that is the enemy we need to look at today. So I will cut and come back to when I get closer to Handsome Jackie. Alright, so I'm right here. Let me show it on the map. I am right here where the nearest save station is, I believe. Right here is where you fight the Katagawa Ball. But that's not who we're fighting today. That way you guys can spawn there. And it's just a quick little run over here. You jump off right here. <sighs> Do a quick jump over here, and right over here is where Handsome Jackie spawns. Oh, I think that's it too. All right, sweet, first try. So yes, Handsome Jackie drops the Nimble Jack. All right, so it's a Jacobs, and it just kind of looks like almost every other Jacobs. It has a shorter barrel. And the barrel does get, you know, quite big at the end there. Is that from me? The, uh, no, no, it's not. All right. So it has this blood wing accessory, maybe talon, maybe not sure. It's definitely one of those. All right. So it's red hex it is Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump up and kill lunatics. So what that means is basically you get increased accuracy while airborne, as you guys can see here, greatly improves accuracy while airborne. So yeah, that's its effect. So watch my reticle. Yeah, it is almost basically 100%. All right, so let us go and use this weapon out on some bad guys. All right, so we're here at Carnivora. And now the first thing I'm going to do is take off Infernal Wish. I said take off Infernal Wish. Take off the Minesweeper. And then I have this on. That way we can just see the weapon by itself. Ooh, so far not impressed with the damage. Yeah, then its special ability doesn't really help you when you're down. <laughs> then if your aim sucks like mine... Did I take the Minesweeper off? Didn't. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. That's why I was doing so much damage. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it's really not doing too much damage. I'm pretty sure most of the damage is coming from uh, my build that being the explosions and then the incendiary damage so what i am going to do is put back on infernal wish now if you guys do not know what infernal wish does basically as long as you have some sort of shield capacity you do uh, double damage because you shoot twice as many bullets then let me put on my minesweeper this one so as you guys can see there, landing a critical hit has a 25 chance to drop a micro grenade that explodes after a short time. And those micro grenades do incredible damage. 
And then, since we are rocking a shotgun, the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge. The more uh, you hit people, the more damage you're gonna do. Now, let's see how this guy does. If I can hit him. Hmm. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, to be honest. Man, all these people are with their rocket launchers. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it to do a little bit better with all this stuff on. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, how many pellets does it shoot? It shoots nine. Maybe the Infernal Wish doesn't work on shotguns because... I'm not really seeing that many pellets come out. But yeah, as you guys can see here, even with all the stuff I have on, I'm not really doing that much damage. So yeah, I think we have a pretty good frame of reference on how this weapon does while mobbing. And while, you know, well, I wouldn't say its effect is the coolest there is, but I can see how it could be helpful, especially if you guys, you know, have really good aim, unlike me. But let us go and use this weapon out on a boss. And of course, that boss is going to be Grey Ward. All right, so the first thing he's going to do is probably tilt the platform, as always. So if I do go for crits, I'm obviously going to get great damage out of those micro grenades, as you guys can see here. However, if we don't aim for crits and just go for like his shoulder or something, as you guys can see, we don't really do that good of damage. So yeah, there you go. I think that was a pretty good review on the Nimble Jack. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe because we'll hop on the channel. And I will appreciate it like always. And then let me know, did I use this weapon correctly? Did I use it wrong? If I did, make sure to let me know. And then give me like a build or something. And then I will come back and do another video on it. But for now, I hope to see you guys next time.